Hello everyone, welcome back once more to Journey Beyond the Abyss, and chat, get on there, good. So, as soon as I turned the stream off last night, I realized that I was missing a couple of things. First of all, I realized that I'd never made a shut-off valve, shut-off logic for the assembler itself over here. And that was really easy, I just ran some structure pipe over, it's running off the very same... It's running off the same hopper that is uh, loading into into this. Just when this wire condition is blue, it turns off. Also, I realized that there was an easier, less stupid way to load up the sand crusher, gravel crusher. Oops. Get out of there. Yes. I realized that if I just made a buffer chest over here, this is a simple uh, when less than quarter full, then I could immediately take off of it and I could run off of the output over here. This is a condition saying if inventory is empty. In other words, when there is nothing in the output, it sends a signal over here that directs a single pulse. So there's like a couple of stacks of cobble inside of the crusher here, and it will always be that full because every time it empties out the output, it orders a single cobble in. So it won't be loaded up with billions of cobble and it won't be constantly drawing from our supplies. It'll just be keeping itself reasonably full. <laughs> now, between episodes, as you might see, I expanded the platform a little bit. It is no longer so suggestively shaped. I'm disappointed in you for not pointing that out to me. I was hoping someone would notice. And also, you might see if you look very closely, and you're paying very close attention, that I scanned another line of chunks because we're in a crisis right now. Yes, I knew. I know I said that I would be making the centrifuge today, and I might still, but we have a crisis to resolve first, and that is that we are out of copper. We are out of out of copper. <clears throat> yeah, we got no copper. So we need to resolve that. We need to resolve that yesterday. And thankfully, thankfully, if I look over in the magic box, we have lots of blocks to do what we need to do. We should have everything we need to make a new excavator. And that's what I scanned for. Because remember, my Azerite chunk is dead, so I needed a new one. And I found a new one. I found a lovely new Azerite and Malachite vein right over here in the village. So let's look up what does a scavy boy need. That's going to need one redstone, nine light, and five heavy. Well, that's real easy. No, it's nine light. And there we go. And that should be all the engineering blocks. Now, it's also going to need three radiator blocks. And unfortunately, radiator blocks require a bit of copper. But I have a little bit of copper. I have my emergency supply of copper still. Now, for a moment, I thought that was disconnected. <clears throat> so, yes, to make nine to make nine of these radiator blocks I was going to need, I'm going to need, it looks like, 36 copper, so I can swing that. Let's just get that done real quick. So, I am going to need a butt-ton of these lovely fluid pipes. I should have more fluid pipes than that. Did I store them somewhere else? Did I maybe put them in my bag? Huh. I guess I just don't have any. Oh, also, I did a little bit of uh, thinking, and I realized that these two metal presses probably will keep up. The problem was they didn't have enough buffer space. Like, um, the problem was, I think, that this machine was ordering more than it could hold. And while it can keep up with the rate that this thing consumes, it can't keep up with the rate of the pipe while it's trying to fill up the buffer. So I replaced this for a chest. And this also means that uh, we have a couple of stacks of iron plates that we can draw from whenever we need. So iron plates are now no longer a consideration, really. We just have them. <clears throat> 
And that's probably something I probably should have done from the start, really. So we just make tons of fluid pipe. That should be enough to make our radiators and then some, really. So then we're going to need 36 steel and 36 iron. And we're a bit low on steel, but we should be able to swing an excavator. Hopefully we can swing a couple of excavators so I can get coal going, too. And of course we need the lovely packed ice, which I should have in storage still. Don't leave home without it. <clears throat> and there we go, that's nine radiator blocks. And we even have enough copper left over for another excavator if we needed. No, not in there. Keep that in intermediaries. So then we just need a bunch of scaffolding, I do believe, as well as uh, we can't forget that the excavator comes in two parts. It's also going to need uh, these nine blocks of steel, but I should have those from the last time I did a big steel cast. Yeah. So now I just need a bunch of scaffolding. I'm going to need 20 plus uh, six more. I could have sworn I saw I had some scaffold. Oh, I just took it out, of course. So then I just need my steel. I need my steel rods. Six, 12, 18, 24. What do you know? We have 26 exactly right there. <clears throat> now, recall what I said about how copper veins deplete. Now, this copper vein over in the village is fine right now because it's not chunk-loaded. But as soon as we start excavating it, it is, of course, going to remain chunk-loaded. And it'll begin decaying. And it'll take a little while to decay, but I want to try and get as much use out of it as I possibly can. So, we're going to run this a little bit differently than the way we set up the metal, the, the iron uh, system. <clears throat> Right, I keep the shulker boxes in this one. Instead of going straight into a crusher and then into a smeltery, I'm going to build a bunch of storage for this. Like a bunch, a bunch of storage. Like three or four or five silos. A bunch of storage. So it's a good thing that we have this iron plate ready to peruse. And I am going to have the ore just going into that. So that even if... Even if it doesn't... Even if it decays relatively quickly, we're going to get every single piece of ore out of it that we can. And that'll be holding on to it. And we'll just be processing it bit by bit. And we should have tons of copper out of it. Now that's do mean... How many do I have in here? I've got like... One, two, three, four. Also remember that these are 50, so I'm gonna call this five. So I'm gonna need 20 fence posts, <clears throat> of which I have three. And I don't really have any wood on me. Hmm. Well, do I have any? Yeah, I've got some stacks of wood in here. We need to send more into processing, of course. Should probably just grab a couple stacks. Get that going. There we go. And also on this one. You know, this is probably going to take a while to process. Maybe I should... Does the carpenter take upgrades? I don't think it do. No, it doesn't look like it do. Damn. Well, that just tells you that the carpenter is one machine that... Oh, I'm also going to need more ash. Shoot. Well, that means I'm going to need more glue. Shoot. Okay, okay. One step at a time. Let's get rid of that hemp fiber. 
I think that was from me making wool one time. All right, so let's go grab a stack of wool. Let's go grab, or, or wood, I should say. Let's pulp it down. Let's get making some glue. You've seen me do this before. You know how the process goes at this point. It's just a matter of getting it done. Hmm. Good thing that I have clay in storage. All right, and we're also going to have to get on making some more slime. Yep. I really should stop being lazy and run a blood pipeline over. It would just be so convenient having all that blood right at my fingertips. Or even better, just having it auto-casting out into a, like a double chest full of slime balls. <sighs> no, stay on target. I need to resolve this copper crisis. Maybe after the copper crisis. Maybe. M-A-Y-B-E, maybe. Hmm. Looks like no one's awake right now, so it goes. I suppose it's an odd hour. Well, it's odd in that this isn't a terribly unusual hour. This is almost reasonable if it weren't a if it weren't a Sunday night. If this were a Saturday night, I bet people would be around. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just keep on going. I'm used to talking to myself anyway. The voices respond back very nicely. Mm, they're all the louder with no one here. I'm not crazy. You're the crazy one. You can't hear them. Yeah, not being able to hear something that is there is just as crazy as hearing something that isn't. Think about that. And remember that this thing disconnects for reasons unknown. All right, blued acquired. And there it go. Now, have I left any levers on just out of my own stupidity? Not looking like it. <clears throat> but yes, I am overjoyed that I think that the Stampy machines can stay. Because yes, these are very sexy machines. It is a joy to watch them. Alright, so. I think that if I just get a stack of wood, that should be 16... So then two stacks of wood would translate into... No, wait. I'm making glue. I want to make a stack of glue. We might as well just make a stack of glue every time that we do this. Even if it's more than we strictly need. Can I use this wood pulp for anything else? Ooh, it'll eventually make a cardboard box. We won't have mages workshops for a long time, but that's still sexy. Cardboard boxes are amazing tools. Let's see, used in all the wood processing, but that's kind of... I guess I want to hold on to it for the treated sticks. Yeah, okay. I'll hold on to this in the meantime. Hmm, can use it as an alternate recipe for paper. Interesting. If I ever need to mass-produce paper, I'll remember that when I have wood automated.
Okay, stack O slime. Oh right, needs more water. That should result in a stack of wood pulp, right? Looking like it. God, I'm starting to memorize some of the numbers on this thing. Isn't that a sad state of affairs? Alright, and that should make a stack so long as I have enough clay to feed it, which I don't. How dare I presume. But we can change that. Now I think that 15 would give me an even ratio, and we'll just have to put up with having some leftovers. Yeah, because if I did 16, it would be... It would require one more set of ingredients to make 65 glue. Unfortunately. So we'll just make 60 instead. How's this doing? It's doing okay. Yep. But really, I can't... Is the compression of your surplus resources. Many bulk blocks and items can be packed in crates. Yeah, if you insist that's their main use. Not in this pack, I don't think. In this pack, their main use is, well, whatever you'd need them for, really. They're used for a little bit of everything. All right, and that should make us a total of 60 glue. So now I'm just going to grab, like, I don't know, two more stacks of wood. And we'll see how many wood piles that'll make us, and we'll go and burn them. Oh, did I miscalculate? Shoot, I think I did. Well, gall darn. Okay, well. We can salvage this a little. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to uh, decon this. Oh, the pain. And then we can just chunk everything back in there. And unfortunately, we didn't need to jump under the base and reconnect it. I need a drink anyway. Oh boy, that disconnected a whole ton of stuff. Okay, where is you? So it looks like it's running a relay off of like here. So then I imagine it's connecting these two machines then, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Okay. Reconnected. Thankfully, my electrical system is... janky enough that it's readable at times. If that makes sense. It's nonsensical enough that it makes sense to me. <clears throat> And that is indeed water. Okay, cool. So then this, and then this, and then this. Five, ten, fifteen. It is going at two hundred, right? Yeah. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 50. Let's see. Do I have any in storage right now? I want to get enough for at least two burnings, if possible. Work table. Uh, I should say. Do that. Yeah. Got a few. 
But otherwise, it's looking like we're kind of empty on that regard. Oh, yeah. And when I say we're out of copper, we're out of copper. I took the rest of that shulker box down, trying to keep the system fed enough to get me an excavator going. Why is it? It's out of wood. Time to chop another sequoia. Is that enough wood? I hope it is. Yeah, it's enough. And I think that's almost exactly enough for two burns. Because, yeah, 27. So I would need 54 for two burns. Cool. Sweet. Let's take that spare glue, put that in storage. And let's go make us some ash. Or at least get the ash burning. It's going to be a minute. Oh, I forgot to re to put the light back on there. I imagine a couple of things spawned, and I'm only it's only my dumb luck that it wasn't an Enderman who came up and assassinated me. Cause I'm wearing crappy enough armor that they, yeah, they probably can one shot me. Now, speaking of, I am still running at nine lives, aren't I? Well, I suppose I could keep nine lives. It's kind of it's kind of it, it, it's cat themed. And that's appropriate considering that uh, Fox's LP is going, and he's a he's a fox, and you know that's kind of a canid. Where is my fire starter? There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna need these. And there we go. And that is going to be a hot minute. And I am wondering why I had shulker boxes inside my white bag. Is that where the missing shulker boxes were going? Was I just putting them in the wrong bag? Well, that's a stupid mystery solved. In that the mystery itself is stupid and that it's a mystery about my stupidity. I forgot to pick up some new delicious life-giving tripes. Yes, I definitely, I really like watching this whole system go. I love watching this two-way split and its logic, the flashing, the flashing. It, it's beautiful. I am proud of this system. I am smug about this system. Rightly so, I think. Yeah, we still got a nice supply of tripes. All right, so... Now we should just start processing whatever we can out of our wood. It'll be, so I think I can make two stacks of treated wood and that might even be enough. I just wanted to resupply on ash. So, da, 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 and put that in as well. And that is gonna need 16 buckets of creosote oil, which we are getting out of the designer's workshop. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And, yep. And then we're just going to need to make some more of these treated sticks, make some more of those treated planks, and yeah, that's where I'm going to need more ash. That is where we're going to have to wait on ash, because, uh, yeah. How did that get in there? You got something in you? Oh, neat. Let's uh, let's leave that out. <clears throat> so I think that this should make five at a time, right? Yeah. So let's see here. To make treated wood fences, I need two. 
So each one of these is like two and a half. I need to make 20. So let's just call it, oops. Let's just call it a total of 10 buckets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, it, it makes four at a time. I way overcooked this. Well, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have some uh some sticks. You know, I could probably if I can time this right, I could turn it just into more treated planks. You can never have enough treated planks. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's just take these. Let's just do these. And now we're stuck waiting for ash again. Huh, out of fuel. Didn't I just refuel that thing? I guess I'm using it quite a lot. And I don't think I'm going to pick up any more wood chips for a little while. Just let the wood chip pile be there as emergency storage in case we need it. What could I do in the meantime that's useful? I suppose... If the ash isn't done yet, which it isn't, I suppose I could start running Utilidor down to the uh, to the new vein. That would be useful. All right, so I'm also going to need excavator. We might as well take out Hamar as well. Just get all our tools out. And let's see, what is the most convenient crossover point to start getting there in our Utilidor system? So we need to go as far west as we can. It's looking like that might be a line. No, on the map it's... I can resolve this a bit more easily. Hold on. It's X20747, Z negative 6971. Okay, so that's X that I'm moving on. Edit 20747. Right there. Should probably just start running it from there. And yep, there we go. Now we just need to run it on down. Ah, oh, lovely. We have another crossover right here. I suppose I probably should have, you know, been done, been responsible and seen that on the map, but, uh, eh, what you gonna do? Me and responsibility don't always see eye to eye. So, yeah, this will be our starting point, all right. We'll make, like, a power junction right here. Heck, I'll do that right now, in fact. And actually, I suppose that having a straight line corridor is good, too, because then we can run the logistics pipe straight down and just, like... No, it would have to... Yeah, it would have to... Uh, well, what's our, what's our trunk loading situation look like? Yeah, yeah, it would be most convenient to just run it straight on down there, I think, and maybe join it right here. I 
I guess we'll see that when we see that. In the meantime, let's start running our relays. Just get a fresh new one like right here. Change how this one connects. Let's see, where's the most convenient one? This one, it's only hooking up to one. So there to there, there to there, and there to there. And now we just keep on running Utilidor down. Oh, hey. The foundation of the fort, I think. Neat. Am I going to break into the moat? I hope I'm not going to break into the moat. This looks like we're going under it. But who can say until we get there? Goodness, you get loaded up with so much dirt. Just swimming in the stuff. Alrighty then. Oof, people walking right overhead. They are none the wiser to our shenanigans. Secret village infiltration. They probably think it's the Saxons invading. I guess I'll hold on to the limestone. It don't really cost me much in terms of weight. It's really just all the dang dirt. I would say that I should dig deeper in, but then I would have to start fencing it off because I'd be digging through straight rock. The fact that I have dirt overhead is what makes this so cheap and easy to run because I don't need to worry about cave-ins. I do need to worry about lag spikes, though. wasn't really a helpful cave-in, but it was close enough to a helpful one. There we go. And just be very careful not to throw out my dang wood pile or anything else important every time I'm throwing stuff out. I need to be more paranoid about when I'm playing with that trash can. Yeah, this is a big, long Utilidor tunnel. You know, when I started making it four units high, it was because I was hoping that that would make the ceiling high enough that I could run under the cables without a, uh, without a suit. But that's just not the case. Maybe I should switch back to only three high corridors because, you know... We needed the suit. Trying to design a base that is user-friendly enough to not need the suit is a uh, losing proposition, I think. Should have just accepted that from the start and done the easier design. But now we just have nice high vaulted ceilings in here, I guess. Which is maybe the difference between just a utility corridor and the utilidor. Alright, so. 
we're in the vein now. And you know what? Let's just put a power nipple right there. Well, I guess I should also dig up. And we should take a look at what kind of space we're working with. I don't think there's anything that's going to block us inside of this chunk. But it does pay to be thorough. And yeah, we are kind of right up against the wall here. Unfortunately. There we go. Nice high ceiling entrance. It'll be luxurious once we just go and fetch some stairways to put on this. And let's see here. What have we got? So, in terms of chunk space, this is like... It looks like I marked pretty much the center of the chunk. And I don't know if that's a good space for a power nipple. Hello, Duck Choice. I don't think I've seen you in the stream before. Welcome. So yeah, let's kind of make our... I am just in the middle of resolving a bit of a uh, copper crisis. Yes, we are completely out of copper. So right now I'm just running over the good old Utilidor and getting ready to start excavating. So yeah, we'll run this one right here. Ah, so is this your first time running across my channel, or uh, have you have you watched on me before? Uh, where would I put my hammer? There we are. Yes, yes, yes. Well, either way, welcome. Always, always glad to have someone new here. Well, uh, I do. If you are at all a fan of Dwarf Fortress, you should check out my uh, Let's Read Syrup Leaf and all my other readings. I've done uh, readings of the classic Something Awful Tales. And I'm playing, as you might see, Journey Beyond the Abyss, which is a very interesting mod pack. It's, oh, there's the problem. It's that I was one too low. Okay, we can fix that. Yeah, we can just put that right there. Journey Beyond the Abyss is a... Uh, it is quite the interesting experience. It really... It really drives the logistics challenge home. So then I can just start running my relays down there. And... Yes, I still have my HV cable on me. Cool. Oh! Um... I hadn't, uh, I hadn't realized that, no. I've never played Splatoon in my life, I'm afraid, but from everything I understand, it's quite a wonderful game. Ah, good, we're out of space. Right about there. Ah, yeah. Um, let's see. The last console I think I owned was... Um, oh, it's been a while. I think it might have been... Did I get the 360 before or after I got the Wii? I think I got the 360 after. Yeah, the last console I owned was an Xbox 360. I've been a PC gamer all my life. And that's always been my primary jam. Nothing against it. Just, uh, I, I like the space of a mouse and keyboard, you know? I like having all the options available. I like the uh, smoothness of the mouse and the uh, ease with which it allows you to aim completely correctly. And I just don't like joysticks, I don't think. All right, so... Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing. 
the one game that I hunger for, that I wish I could play on PC, and I'm tempted to get a console for, is I wish I could play Bloodborne on PC. Supposedly, there's some sort of system that lets you do it, but, uh, but yeah, I've, uh, it's like you need to, to subscribe to some PlayStation service or another. Okay, back into the old, unfortunately defunct pretty base. Ah, good. It looks like the charcoal burner is done. Really? Because I've heard rumors of that for eons. But I've never seen them pan out. But yeah, if Bloodborne came to PC, I would be a happy, happy boy. Heck, I might just stream that and show everyone what an utter noob I am. I played through Dark Souls 1, but I was terrible at it. <laughs> All right. And my fire starter is in my bag. All right. So now that we have our super special forestry ash, and we have quite a bit of it, now we can make those fence posts to create the silos. And we even have a nice big block of ash waiting for us the next time we need it. Life is just grand. Yeah, so it goes. There's a there's a bunch of Bloodborne and Souls likes that are out there right now. It's okay to be confused. Huh, the storage is full of charcoal? Well, I guess that means it's time to make some more steel. So let's just put that away. And then I should be able to grab, like... A stack of iron out of my storage over here. And we can start melting that down. I may. I may. I'll wait for it to come down in price, though. You know? That also means that all the bugs will be worked out, hopefully. Or at least that it'll be somewhat closer to balanced. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the shitty open air, uh, what I'm calling the Factorio main bus base, because what I'm, my design philosophy here is I have a bunch of immersive engineering silos with all the resources that I'm automating downstream out in all the excavators and stuff. And I'm using Buildcraft gates to bring them out to these chests and then splitting them off, including further down the line so I can have split offs like a Factorio main bus. And, oh, just because the base is so messy? Or is it because I've done things like misplaced wires here and there? Let's see if I can get that down. Ah, uh, not quite. Yes, the messiness is unfortunately a side effect of, uh, of the fact that the base is entirely improvised and I need to do a lot. Like, up here... Oh, <laughs> Up here in our mechanical artisan, we're starting to automate all of our, like, immersive engineering blocks. That's been the big project the last couple of episodes. And these things require, like, redstone, copper. They're, they're more expensive than regular immersive engineering, which already ain't cheap. So we've needed to automate this. We've needed to automate the mechanical components. And, uh... Oh! <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Maybe after the stream, I'll go and take a look over at your channel and we'll see if we can get that number up to the suite. Of course, then... Oh, dear. It's hypothermia. Of course, then, you know, then you're going to want to keep it there. You're going to want to never have another subscriber in the rest of your life because then it'll be 101 and it'll be just as terrible. Although I suppose at least 101 has symmetry. But then 102 is terrible. Ah, uh, I, I didn't think you were. I did not think you were. Okay, so let's, because I'm unfortunately dying here, I need to make some tinder in order to, oh, I had some, okay, cool. Yes, there's there's a bug in Tough as Nails Heating where, um, oh, I already have some placed here, where um, it's, it's looking for pyrotech campfires, but all you need to do is place down a tinder, you don't even need to light it, and it still lets out heat like it's still a campfire. 
it's pretty ridiculous. I love it. Okay, let's finish cleaning out the carpenter over here. Yes, we need forestry ash in order to make treated wood planks because it's journey beyond the abyss. Ah, uh, shoot, I'm out of wood pulp, aren't I? Do I have any in storage to make any sort of thing? Well, oh no, wait, wait, wait. I can just make some fence posts and that'll clean out the creosote. Yeah, because I think that doesn't do 250. I think that does 200. Yep, it do. Okay, it's cool. So I need to make a total of 20. I have a total of five. I think it makes it in batches of five. So that works out. Five, ten. Ha ha ha. Cute. I'm not falling for that one again. Not after the incident. Ugh, poor grandma. All right, and that should be all the fence posts we need to make the storage silos. Um, what else am I going to need? You know, I think I might just build our system from there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need to make secondary processing, but I want to get that vein burning. Because uh, there's a system in the game where... <laughs> no, I can't say I have. Uh, why? Do you have a funny story there? Let's bring a tinder with us just because it's raining and stupid freaking hypothermia. But yeah, there is a uh, mechanic in place, which I don't even know how the mod author managed, where immersive engineering ore veins can decay over time. And mercifully, it's only... It's only Autonite and Azerite and Malachite that do it. But I need to mine Azerite and Malachite, so I'm having to design this a little bit differently than my usual mining spot. Okay, so our power nipple is right over there. Let's move this into the other corner. Put it in the corner of shame, let it think about what it's done. <laughs> Cute. All right, so we're going to need the book. We're also going to need to set down our storage crate full of stuff. Book. There we go. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, it certainly makes you think. I wish it was advertised at all. Like, if there was some sort of hint in one of the, in one of the quests, which there might be. I haven't really read them through thoroughly, but uh, let's see. It would probably be in the quest for Excavator. No, that's not it. Now, is there any hint anywhere in the pack that this would be happening, Austin? Also, it's it's uh, quite the pleasure to have you here. Uh, Austin Supercar is uh, the developer of the pack. Uh, so remind me, how do you build an ex a dang Excavator? Wait, isn't there a page on this that shows the whole construction? Yeah, there do. Okay, so... So, the ground level of it. We'll start with that. So, that's radiator, scaff, scaff, and it goes all the way forward. It goes too forward of that. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Radiator block in the corner. So, let's go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go one in as well. And yeah, just one more for luck. So let's start. Let's build that. On that rock shall we build our church. So I'm gonna need Ah, I'm gonna need the iron the steel sheet metal, aren't I? It's not scaffolding, it's sheet metal that I needed. Shoot. This is why you double check the dang book. Well, that's an easy build, thankfully. Uh, no, I've never played Boneworks. Is that a is that a game or is that a Minecraft mod pack? But seriously, Austin, how did you get ore veins to to decay like that? 
As far as I can tell, immersive engineering isn't built to do that natively. Ah, no, I don't own a VR headset. I'm, I am, uh, I'm not without my funds, but I'm not exactly rich. So do I have any steel sheet metal on me? I do, I have a little bit. Cool. Oops. Derping around all my blocks. And I forget how many I need, just so just make it done. And then check the book and see if that's enough. Yep, that's enough. All right. Oops. Took off my neat, convenient labeling, which where did the item frame go? Item frame just sucked itself into the void. Oh, interesting. Huh. I didn't know that chunks themselves had NBT data. I thought that was only on blocks. Huh. All right, Duck Choice. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you're at all a fan of Dwarf Fortress, please check out the Let's Reads. They are the pride and joy of my channel, and they are what I put a lot of effort in. Not that JBTA is no effort, Austin. <laughs> it's just that it doesn't require any editing, you know? It's literally just shoot and post. <laughs> but yes, have yourself a good night, and thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again sometime. Huh, neat. Learn something new every day. Okay, so. Doop, doop, doop. So that's two and two. You know, now that I've got it measured out, I should probably just go to the simpler one so that I can, so that my feeble mind can comprehend it. There we go. N no, pause, please. There we go. So then that's light. I should just take out all the relatively weightless engineering blocks. Like so. And that was light over there with another of those. And then it was the six scaffolding Just like so. And next layer up, red then heavy. On right here, right? Yeah. Red then heavy. Light up on there. Another layer of sheet metal on there. All right, da, 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 da. okay, so sheet metal and sheet metal. And then it is three light on this side, three heavy on the other, right? Right. Then three light all the way up with two radiator blocks. Why did I make nine? Oh, because I was thinking of a diesel engine, not of an excavator. Derp. Oh, well. It's a spare radiator block. Uh, heavy up there. And then sheets to the wind. That's the last light block. Yeah, it do. And then it was just the sheet metal all the way down. Okay, and if I did that right, that should construct. If I remember to have my hammer in my pocket. 
Yep, it do. Okay, so now the relatively easy part of just making the dang wheel. So just center it right schmear. And just two out this way. Two out this way. Two out that way. And then just dig under it. We might peek into the utilidor if I'm not careful. Okay, and there's the center one. And can I go one deeper? Can we go deeper? Yes, we can. I'm out of range of the utilidor. I got paranoid about nothing. Okay, so then I think that's right. Yeah. So then it's like... No, I need to look up how that's constructed. Need to remind myself. Okay, so it's like this. No, it's like this, 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 and this. There we go. Yeah. So this, this, and this. There we go. And doop, 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 and doop. Finally, doop, 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 and doop. And that should dupe it. Now I believe I should be able to poke through on this side. Smack it with a hammer. No? Did I do wrong? Is it the other side? I am terrible at building these. It's really a tragedy that that projector causes that crash. Because there are some of us who are, uh, who are incompetent, who need its glow to guide us. Yeah, that's bothering me, having those flashing yellow X's. Let's enlighten this area. Unfortunate. Not blaming you, Austin, I know. I know. It's... It would be worse to have the game crashing. I know. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Um, so I should see from the bottom block, should go up one scaff and then block, yeah. I might have to deconstruct the back end of this to take a look in. Okay, so that's steel block down there. You know what, let's just kind of... Maybe I should have just built the dang wheel first. So I'm missing like a, let's see here. I completely screwed this up, didn't I? Okay, so steel block should be there. Yeah, that's looking like it's, it's one, two, there, one, two, oh. Yeah. I misplaced it on the top. Did I? What the heck? What the heck did I do? Yeah, you might be right that it's the one at the front. So, 
One, two, there. No, that's correct. And there should be a scaff there. Shouldn't there? Okay. Okay. Tempted to say, screw it, tear it down, and start over. Tempted. So, there is center. One, two, there. No, it's like that. Okay, cool. Like that. Then like that, yeah, okay, there we go. Two there. And so then another steel block should be right schmear. And that should do it. Yep, there it go. There it go. Now I just need to see if I can uh, jank this back into place. I pretty much deconstructed the entire back end of it, didn't I? Yeah, and that's probably not correct. Oh boy. Okay, so it's radiator red heavy. And then it's sheet heavy sheet. Uh, this is the wrong place, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, this is completely the wrong place. Should have looked at this side first. Oh no, it is a radiator up there, isn't it? So, two more sheets there. And on this side... It's a wall of sheets here. Then it's the right radiator. Red heavy. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit more sane. Then it's sheet heavy sheet. And then that should do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool beans, a little bit derp, but what is life without a little bit of derp? So then I just need my, let's get this hooked up to power, I guess. No, let's, yeah, first let's make a simple storage solution. Uh, No, let's, yeah, let's pipe this straight to the, to the uh, silos. I don't want this thing to ever stop under any condition. So we might as well just go straight to silo. So first of all, question, can this thing just hook up to? No, it don't. So it does need a chest. Cool. All right. So just a single chest on there and that should never be full because it's relatively slow. And then let's start building silos. So just right here. will be silo number one. Might as well take out 50 so I can't miscount. And there we go. At least a silo I should be able to construct without much derp. Yeah, especially when I bring exactly the amount of blocks you need, then it's really easy to tell when it's time to 
slab it off. Okay, so first one, this is gonna unfortunately need a pulser, but the rest of them shouldn't if I bring in redstone blocks to keep them activated. And I think I'm just going to run that down just like so and keep a perma pulser on there. And that should be enough to just say, get this thing going, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little misaligned with with the good old power nipple, but well, having misaligned power nipples is okay. It's it's not a flaw; it's a quirk. So I forgot to make another HV connector that I'm gonna need. Well, back to base. Yeah, yeah, my first copper ore only decayed because it was in a really unfortunate position. And I think it might have decayed maybe five or six hours after I, after I spotted it. Come on, there we go. But yeah, my first, my first copper ore vein, it was right around here. Yep. You see that I did another core sample on it and it is blank now. And you know, my base was right here, my starter base. So I've always been working in this area and this thing has been chunk loaded pretty much my entire playtime. And that was the only, that was the only vein of copper I found until, uh, until the interim between last episode and this one where I did some more core scanning. And I had to search all the way down here to find another one. So, uh, yeah. That is my luck. And that is just how the cookie crumbles. We just adapt and overcome. There we go. Just make however many that'll give us. That should last a little while. I mean, I guess I could put an emergency stop condition on this thing. Like, if it reads the silo is full. But no, no, I never want this thing to stop. If it if it starts spitting things out into the into the world, then oh well. Alright, so. Huh, running low on HV cable too. What do you know? Some villagers are probably going to shock the hell out of themselves with that thing. But that's just the joy of life. All right. Ah, shoot, dirt. I forgot dirt. I should have uh, kept the pulser off until it was fully initialized. There we go. Okay, so let's just clear that out the old fashioned way. I do like that these things void when you deconstruct them. It's dangerous, but it's also convenient. And that strikes my design philosophy perfectly. Oh shoot, this is Azerite and Malachite. Okay, I need a diamond pipe. And I might need more silos. I mean, it doesn't matter on the crusher end, I don't think. They both turn into the same copper ore. 
So this will be easy on the ore processing. It's just unfortunate for setting up storage. Yeah, I've got some diamond pipe in here. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess technically, sort of, not really. I mean, the vein is still the same size. It's just splitting the output between these two resources. And I think they both turn into the same amount. No, it looks like Azerite is slightly superior. Hey, Riley, fancy seeing you here. Always lovely to have you by. Rare, it's a rare treat. Welcome. All right, so let's put Azerite down the blue line. Very appropriate. We are just finally resolving the copper crisis once and for all. Okay, is that still in the same chunk? No, it ain't. So we need to split it this way. Yep. And let's move the shulker box. All right. Wow, both Riley and Austin in the chat. This is a red letter day. Welcome. Yeah, I can just run this run this silo right around here so the plan is that i'm just going to have the ores coming out into these silos we'll put malachite down the yellow line rude villagers shuffling you around i'm going to have this excavator running as constantly as i can have it running loading these up into silos and then I'm just going to do my processing on site as per usual and run that back to the base's ingots. But um, just going into the silos, storing as much of it as I can for as long as this vein will let me. And hopefully, hopefully this is a fresh vein with very little time on its, uh, on its clock because it's a fair distance from my base. I mean, I've spent some time hanging out in, like, the merchant stalls in the village, but compared to right next to my base, nothing. Slear a bit off, give it a torch. And whack it with a hammer. All right. And that should be the systems going. So I should just be able to put this pulser on. And it should sort. And if I just put this malachite in here. Yep, there it goes. All right. So system is sorted. Now, how many more silos do I have on me? I've got two, possibly three more. Well, I have three more. Yeah, that's how many I haven't treated with fences, so derp. So let's prioritize the Azerite line because it's looking like I'm getting Azerite more commonly. Oh. oh, I thought you were taking, uh, I thought you said you were taking a break from both playing and modding Minecraft. I, I guess that was just a non-starter. It's, it's too deep into your blood at this point. I, I know how that be. That's kind of one of the things that eventually called me back to uh, running this channel after so many years is... I, I felt it. I, I felt the urge to come back. Also, I need some redstone blocks. I should have remembered that. Also, I can turn that 
dang waypoint off. Huh. So you're making entirely custom biomes. That's exciting. Uh, are we talking like horrific death world biomes for another challenge pack? Or are you... Have you finally felt mercy in your soul for us poor... For us poor peons? Oh. Well, that's... That's pretty amazing, to be honest. I know a little bit of Java, like just enough Java to get me in trouble. But, uh, yeah. It would be a lot of research for me to get into modding, and that's... That's inspiring to see people getting into it, so good on you, man. <laughs> yep, I think I just saw a villager get shocked. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it hurts them. Neat. Well, you got yourself a good professor then, because, yeah. It, like, if it's, a, if it's a system that you love, and if you're into it, and then you... Okay, you should be outputting. Does it not know, like, which way it needs to output because of... I could swear that I've done this before with just a redstone on it. It should output into pipe. I suppose I could get conveyors and do it. Yeah, we'll have to do this with conveyors, I guess. Run back to the base once more, because what is planning, really, when you get down to it? Planning doesn't exist. It's all a conspiracy, man. That's just what want... It's all Big Day Planner. Yeah, Big Day Planner trying to get you to buy their useless paperwork, man. They're just trying to repress you and 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 deny your your true your true improvis improvisational soul. Yeah, man. Down with the system. Just muddle your way through. It's what everyone does anyway. I have no idea where that came from or where that was going. Which really fits the statement, doesn't it? Hmm. Looks like we aren't quite supplying this thing to full power. Must be that the, uh, the pump jacks are running. Well, that'll resolve itself sooner or later. Okay, so now I should be able to put... Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, now we just need to run that further on down the line. Get this secondary silo going. And I'm hoping that this is an excessive amount of storage. I'm hoping that this will allow it to run 24-7 until the vein is dead. Or at the very least that it'll... Oops. That it'll provide me a, a little bit of apocalypse proven. Hmm. Unfortunate. There we go. We can solve that problem. Alrighty then. So, secondary silo on this end, Dune. Into the system you go. And 
Malachite secondary storage up. One more. One more for luck on the Azerite side. So, so like, what's the concept for your mod? What are you, what are you, uh, what's your sales pitch on it? What you gonna do? Because I think one of the real challenges in Minecraft right now is that everyone has done so much with it that trying to think of something that's unique and new is a little bit daunting, isn't it? Like, it's hard to find a theme or a mechanic that hasn't been covered just yet. But then again, JBTA is a really unique pack, so I know you got a mind for finding for finding that uh, niche. So I'm real interested in what you're targeting. All right. Excellent. All right. So that's our storage system. Now we're unfortunately... Uh, at the point where we need to build some more because we're going to need to start building the processing system. But I just wanted to get this burning ASAP. I wanted this digging up every last scrap of ore I can get. So yes, I rushed that excavator. Hmm. So to get auto processing, oh also, I should get that chunk loaded. I should definitely get that chunk loaded. All right, so claim and load. Yeah, this is gonna be a heck of a a heck of a loading chain to get it back to base, but we'll do it. We have the chunks. And soon we'll have world spikes anyway. Yeah, looks like looks like these are running constantly right now. It must be that uh, the diesel depleted a good chunk of the storage on here. How's our pollution filter doing that's going to need refilling all right well let's trash some of the trash let's sort stuff away ooh that does sound interesting so you're trying to make it like, are, are you going on like, um, are you trying to make it just better maze generation or are you trying to make something that like, it generates a story or is it more like, are you trying to make a trap generator? Like, there's a lot of stuff that could go into dungeons that would make them less generic, I think. As they are, they are indeed kind of sad, and that is an area that is rife for improvements. There's a lot you can do there for sure. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone make really good dungeons in any of their in any of their mods or mod packs. It seems to be something of a lost art. Like I have I have a uh, I have Tumblr PTSD, let's say, from going through Galacticraft's dungeons. That was just all samey BS. Ugh. Okay, so... I shouldn't have put the shulker chest away. I should have just emptied it out, but oh well. So, now we are going to need a crusher. Ooh, yeah, that does sound... That is... 
it is hard to do story and procedural generation. I've I've yet to see it done really well, but if you can get it, man, you will have just solid, solid stuff going for you. So we're going to need an Crusher. And yes, I think we will only need one because, again, they both produce the same product. So we're going to need one Redstone, ten Light. And that's it. Uh, we're also going to need nine Hoppers. So we're going to need, effectively, 18 Redstone, 18 Light. And it said ten Light beyond that, right? Yeah, ten Light. And one more redstone. Oof. Yeah. But, but, once we have that copper coming in, all those blocks will be just automated coming in. Yeah, even just now you can see it rebuilding just from the stocks we've managed to load up in this thing. So, that is crucial everything it needs, right? Let's see here. Nine hoppers, so that's 18, 10, and 1. Yep, yep. 18, 10, and 1. Cool, cool, cool. So let's put those away. And then let's make the hippers. Do I have enough glue? I don't know if I do. Well, nothing to it but to see. Right, chess. Hmm, I need noogs. Or rather, I should say I need to make more chess, which requires noogs. Wait, are those treated? No, that's Sequoia. Kind of hard to tell Sequoia from treated at first glance. Need to always check twice. Hmm. Uh, what you should look into, I think, is uh, you should see how some of the, um, I'm not sure if I'd call them speedrunners. I guess I'd call them game breakers. You should look into some of the bigger channels and how they handle the Minecraft escape rooms. Because I've seen some pretty absurd shenanigans in Minecraft escape rooms, and they know every exploit. They know every way of movement. They know every way that the game can be they know every way to clip through walls they know every way to get around seemingly impassable walls they know every single use of every single combination of block that you give them that could possibly break them through in a way that's unintended so if you're looking for if you're looking for what people are going to be doing to try and break your dungeons Look to the Minecraft Escape Room Challenge Packs. That would be what I would say as a avenue of research, as well as inspiration, I suppose. Okay, and of course I put away all the iron. Did I put it in here? No, I guess I didn't. Okay, and I don't have enough glue. Of course. How dare I presume. Well, time for another visit to the blood bank. Because, yeah, I need more slime than that. We make our glue a stack at a time and we put our pants on both legs at a time. B because it's effective and, and not ridiculous. Yeah, that's what we do here. All the time. How you doing? You're full. Cool. And once again, I'm saying it but not doing it. I really need to get this auto-pouring and just run a pipeline down to the base already. But the amount of times that I will say it is always one more time until I do it. 
that sentence probably makes no sense. Oh, well. At the very least, I should get a fluid pump and make this pour faster. Meh. All right, so blood acquired. Those poor beta testers, man. You didn't know what you were signing up for when you made them their avatars in the pack. Wow. Thank you so much for giving a uh, top secret sneak peek on the channel. I, I guess this will be secret incentive for people to watch these streams, so thank you. <laughs> Always looking to see if you're going to if you're going to drop some uh some hot news on this. Yeah. Yeah, we we we've, we've got the inside track people. We've broken the system. We've infiltrated into the into the new world order. The the new Austin supercar order. The heck? Are you not on blood? I put steel in. I forgot to pour out the steel. Derp. Well, we kind of need to restock on steel blocks anyway. So, no, wait, that's only a stack, isn't it? Yeah. Well, seven steel blocks is better than none. So let's just take kind of the... No, I need to wait for the blood. Really wish I knew what was causing this to sometimes fail. Then again, the redstone behavior on this thing is odd in the first place, because really, I do think it should be using a pulsar. I suppose with redstone cable, I could just hook this up to a pulsar. That is not difficult now that I have redstone cable to run everywhere. Heck, I could even jank it up to just still be switch controlled. But it works well enough for the moment. And oh dear, that's horrific FPS right there. I don't know what was going on. All right, so. Ah, I need to cut down another sequoia for more wood. Right, because the creosote burner. Oh no, wait, I have a stack in here. Never mind. But yes, I do need to refill the creosote burner anyway, so let's do that. Before I forget. Uh, da, 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 da. There are my sequoia saplings. Indeed. To my, I thought that pulsed redstone was the only way to work tinkers. This, uh, this behavior of working on a constant signal, is that you? Did you put that in the pack or is that just, is that just how tinkers runs in 1.12 and I'm still on like 1.7.10 logic? Over there, yeah. It must be being blocked by this. Okay, cool. This vein is plenty big still. Ah, neat. Okay, I can't... Oh, I missed a sapling. How did I miss a sapling? I brought 16 with me. Bizarre. Yeah, new. Well, new to me, you know? I'm a guy who was still playing, like, Blightfall and Regrowth, and now it just appears in my hand. What the heck? Okay, cool. Whatever. The game is gaslighting me, so it goes. Almost exactly enough bone meal. Always lovely. And... We can just slap this down and take a wonderful wood shower. Do I need any more arrows? I sure do. 
Only now it's not raining XP for some reason. Do I need to carry the axe in my hand for XP to shower down? Hard to tell. But that looks like it might be the case. That's interesting. What, the sequoias and unbreakable lumber axes? Yeah, it's OP, but it's OP for a minor resource. And uh, also, the the sequoia wood is kind of underpowered anyway because um, because the sequoia fireproof wood, um, these planks, you can't make them in the carpenter. Unlike every other wood plank in the game, these can't be automated in the carpenter, which is more convenient for full automation because you can't, you know, put saw blade in saw mill with a pipe or anything like that. So the fireproof giant sequoias cannot be fully, uh, cannot be used for fully automated wood. You need a different wood farm like that. Like you need a uh, Steve's carts farm farming up jungle wood or something. So yeah, they're very useful for the for single shot like loading up a bunch of supply. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that the lack of uh I think that the lack of being able to automate this does indeed give it balance. I don't disagree with the choice there. And really, the period when the Sequoia Wood is most useful is kind of this period now, where we are uh, to the point that we need tons of wood for things like the Carpenter, but we haven't yet unlocked the next, uh, oh, I guess that, there, you just sit over there. They won't be useful forever. Like, when I get to chapter... When, when I get to the next chapter and I unlock Steve Steve's carts and I work my way up to get myself a... Goodness, what is this frame rate? When I work my way up to um, fully automate jungle wood, then sequoias will be useless forever because I will have a wood that is superior to them and I will have it in infinite amounts. And um, before kind of, before chapter five, before this period of the game, having that much wood is not really all that useful. I mean, I guess you could use them as building blocks. They are fireproof. But beyond that, it's just not all that useful having stacks and stacks of wood logs. You don't need all that much wood until, until chapter five. What's that doing? Hmm. Oh? The wood was unknown until chapter 5? I didn't know that. Neat. Goodness. What is causing this lag? Hold on, let me look at my... No, my memory's doing just fine. Hold on, let me let me look at my task manager real quick. Let me see if I'm running anything unusual. What is my performance looking like? Hmm, CPU's running at 60%. Java's only eating up 40% of that. Bizarre. What is going on? Oh well. Uh we'll just we'll just deal with it. We will just suck it up in a big old straw and deal with it. So now I need to start making additional glue. But yes, I want that copper coming in so that I can start working my way up and finish all the recipes in my little auto artisan here. I want, uh, I want these sweet, sweet casings 
so that I can start building, you know, the individual carpenters for each of these recipes. Make the automatic glue machine already. It's time and past time. The era of single-use carpenters is beyond us. Is something new rendering? Is that the problem? Also, I'm probably going to want to uh, make additional clay blocks just for uh, for the squeezer, because I'm going to need liquid clay too. Hmm. It's not that there's a bunch of entities rendering. Most of my pipes are stopped right now because everything's waiting on copper. Let's try reloading chunks. That helped a little bit. Oh, right, water. And there we go. Now I should just need 15 pieces of clay. And what do you know? We have almost exactly that. Get that a squeezing. And we are almost all the way there. It boggles me that the carpenter doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have an upgrade slot. Like, it, it doesn't have a thing that you can put one of those forestry chipsets in to speed it up. You think that of all machines, it would have one. But then again, I guess since the carpenter is designed to be used for just creating up mass resources, it's supposed to be the low and slow in a million of the machine. It's not supposed to be like a main crafting machine. Okay. Yeah, a carpenter per fluid makes sense. I mean, that's my design philosophy with my artisan tables. And it is definitely luxurious having it all piped into each of these things. But, I, I don't know. I think that, um, yeah, I mean, maybe a personal use carpenter per liquid would be nice. But I'm also definitely going to want a couple of things that are just straight up automated. Like, I think I'm going to want a carpenter dedicated to just black iron. And I'm definitely going to want a carpenter dedicated to just wool over when I start making my biodiesel setup. Going to want to use that hemp fiber... Did I misremember how much clay that takes? No, I don't think I did. I just needed to have faith in the heart of the cards or whatever. Whatever friendship euphemism we're using today. All right. Glue. Ah, still some of that left. Shoot. Didn't I make this mistake last time? Yes. Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to chapter six. I could, I could gun for chapter six right now, but I'm putting it off because I want infrastructure in place. Also, it looks like that has finished repairing itself. Well, uh, sadly, nothing for it. Just gonna have to clean this out because I don't have a pipe at. Miscounted how much clay I needed. Oh well. Oh well. All right, so 
get you back on there. That's going to be running there and there and there. And let's just run that one there for now. Yeah. That way, when I inevitably screw it up again, I'll have one less wire to reconnect. And that's just a minor little life hack for myself to enjoy. Right, I need to refill the wool. Shoot. I forgot that I need to refill the wool. How close am I running to death right now? Not all that close, but still closer than I'd like. Oh yeah, also, I remember that uh, I lost a life to, uh, to wire shenanigans recently. Hypothermia and taking the taking the aluminum foil suit off and uh, working regardless are uh, not good life decisions. So, Mr. Chunky Pudding, please. And thank you. We are back up to 10 lives once again. That's just the level I like to keep myself at. It's a good... Oh, wait, I shouldn't have put that away. I didn't put that away. What did I put away? I don't think I put anything away. I'm just being psychotic. Which is how we do. Okay, how you doing, old man? You ain't doing bad. That should last the system for a little while. At the very least, it should last it long enough that uh, we can get the wool automated and piped over. It'll last us until biodiesel, I think. <laughs> well, for most of them it works out, but uh, for these two poor souls, uh, the bomb and Johaya Parmala, yes, uh, they've encountered a terrible fate. Who could possibly be responsible for such a thing? Truly, they, they must be a, a creature beyond reckoning. And I bet that they're really good-looking, too, and charismatic, and and wonderful to talk to with loads of friends. Yes. Let's put a few in here. Just because that... Yeah, I'm also going to need to hold on to a few of these for the, for the new smelter. Come on, game. I wish I knew it was causing those lag spikes. I'm not the only one who gets them, you know. Uh, 12th Century Fox, a real close friend of the channel, has recently started playing. He's not doing a challenge run or anything. He's just uh, he's just playing it for himself over on his channel and posting it up. And he's also experiencing that same lag spike behavior. So let's just keep, like, four stacks for our copper smeltery. But, I mean, I can tell you that uh, if I were one of your beta testers, I would be I would be pleased as punch to see myself in the game. Yeah, yeah. They are an utter mystery. They aren't too bad. I'm fairly certain that at least one of them is related to uh, immersive railroading, like in JEI. Like, that tends to... Yeah, see, when I search railroad on there, it immediately causes a lag spike. And it's, I think it's pretty repeatable, too. No, it looks like... If I give that a few minutes to load that out of memory, I think loading up all the models from immersive railroading in JEI fairly consistently causes a lag spike. But that's the only one I've really been able to track down from my own experience. And I'm still not 100% sure on it. Or if it's just my paranoia. Yeah... I mean, it's a really cool mod. I'd, uh, I'd be perfectly willing to use it if it weren't for the fact that the damn trains emit pollution. <laughs> and I'm, 
I'm uh, I have enough trouble with pollution. Well, I guess that I've cleaned it up fairly well. But yeah, this is this is the best my skies have looked in a little while. I uh for a while it was getting real bad. Okay, need a few more steel fences, I think. Just two of them, I think, should do the trick. Or rather, six of them. And let's see here. Ah, it also needs scaffolding. Lovely. Should have checked that while I had the stuff in my hands. I am going to need to make some more steel rods soon. And that reminds me, pour out the steel. Yes. Ah, shoot. Wasted some blued. Oh? <laughs> what did you do? Did you, like, uh, leave a diesel engine on for just uh, belching out belching out tons of pollution and and uh, he hadn't figured out a way to automate the pollution filters yet. That'll do. Come on, you. Get in there. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we should definitely uh, throw these into the old... Ah, yeah, so it goes. So get this on here. Make me some steel rods. Might as well. We are, after all, just making some more steel ingots right now. Okay, so I believe if I take everything out here, that should be a crusher complete, yes with a few scaffolding besides, but we'll just keep that in there. So next, obviously we are going to need to make us a new filter for that, since we're speaking about the topic. And I happen to have some wool that I will just steal from. And then I'm just gonna need a bunch of bar. Good old fashioned bar. Oh, did you see the bar there? Oh, it was a great big brown bar. Oof. So it goes. So it goes. In some ways, I'm thankful that I don't run my game on a server, so I can't forget to turn it off. Although I did... I did leave the game running for a straight 24 hours once, I think, because I put it on pause and forgot about it. And I I just, like, I went to work the next day and was too, too, uh, too, um, out of it to even think about looking at my computer after I came home. So yeah, JBTA was just on for 24 hours once. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, technically you could fix it with a lot of lawn mowing and probably several dozen deaths. I really need to just make a watering hole up here. I really need to figure out a better hydration solution. Is there going to be something better for hydration coming up in the pack? Does Tough as Nails have any recipes that are yet to unlock? Like, I, I remember in, like, Crash Landing, there was this one RF-powered device oops, that would, like, adjust your temperature and keep you hydrated as long as the tank and battery were full. There we go. So, filter. And that filter is going to go on a smelter, which I am out of seared brick, aren't I? I should have got that going a long time ago. Oh, well. So it goes. Oh? 
and thermal's in the pack. So once I unlock thermal, I'll never have to worry about hydration ever again. Sweet. Yeah, let's just take the full eight stack. And... Yeah, it's a ways away, but just knowing it's in the pack eventually is motivation, you know? That is that is telling me that eventually this mechanic shall leave me alone and stop bullying me. Oh, those artisan tools snuck into my pocket again. Happens every dang time that I'm not looking for it. All right. Yes, indeed, I know about the ME systems. I have uh, I have been keeping my eye on when we're going to be unlocking those and uh, pondering them hungrily and wishing and hoping and figuring out as many ways as possible to jank my way towards them. Yes, yes, that will be a wonderful red letter day when we finally have when we finally have the power of thermal engineering on our side once more. Or or Emmy and thermal and and all of it. It will be a wonderful day when we have all of it. That's the long story short. Am I out of tier two tool rods? I think I am. Well, let's fix that real quick. I think I should just be able to... Yep, yeah, there we go. There, that's an easy enough one to resolve. And in it goes. Hmm. T? Oh, the tools. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, especially since I have never in my life touched rock hounding chemistry. That is a completely new one to me. So I am looking forward to that. That is going to be fun and derp and terrible. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the melter needs four of those, right? Because it needs this seared heater. Yep, four. Cool. All right. So then I just need to make some masonry brick. Yep, so it goes. Let's just make a couple of stacks of it. I had some stacks in here, didn't I? I guess not. No. Hmm. No, I can't turn the diesel off because I want that copper excavating constantly. So I just need to hurry myself up and get to biodiesel already so I can feel stop feeling bad about running down the uh running down the power, running down our oil well. This is the third oil well I've had the uh I've had the pump jacks on because I am being a slowpoke in getting to biodiesel. Okay, that's probably more than enough masonry brick. I am overcooking it for sure. But what is life without a little overcooking? Undercooked is what it is. All right. And if that's not enough pulp, I should have some over by the lava machine. And let's see, I need 7, 14, 21, 28. So yeah, I've got more than enough here. Cool. Next, I spent all my refractory, well, not quite all of it. 
Not quite all of it. It's fun watching the pump jacks stutter step when they are uh, only topping up a full system. Red light, green light, red light, green light. I'm trolling my own technology. It's wonderful. All right. And then I should just need... I'm out of pulp, aren't I? Well, let's see what the system has availed us over here in my overly ambitious pulp machine. Yep. We've got a little bit stored up. Oh. Yeah, I've I've seen I've seen that a couple of times on my JEI dives, the silicone cone. Yeah, I've seen the silicone hydrofluoric chyme, which I think is made from silicone somewhere down the line. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've seen I've spotted silicone once or twice and I've been I have been I have been suitably intimidated by it. Sixteen. There we go. Hmm. Maybe at one point I should make a furnace automation. As in a machine for making furnaces. Eh, I don't need to make them all that often. Yup. I imagine it will. I imagine it will, and it will be wonderful and horrible and incredibly mind-consuming trying to figure out how to get enough of the stuff. And that is the joy of JBTA. And I tell you, I appreciate this pack. I appreciate this pack for it. It hurts so good, Austin. It hurts so good. All right, and yeah, I forgot that I needed to get these pouring. So I'm going to need a few bricks. I might have enough already. No, I have nowhere near enough. What am I saying? But uh, let's see here. In order to make a melter, I need to make the seared heater, of course. And that's just going to need two of those flint clay, which I don't think that should be a problem. All right, and doop. And yeah, I am indeed going to need more brick than that. I'm also going to need dirt eventually, aren't I? One, two, three, four. I need eight more. Have not eight more. Have not flint. Well, how rude. Let's get that stopped. Yep. It just happened to stop on an even number. How nice. Get that pouring. And let us go and gather up some flint. Yep. And so far... I mean, I, I guess the cogs aren't crucial. Because so far, the only thing I've found that I haven't thought of a way to mass produce is um, over in my cog dancer here. I have not thought of any way to mass produce the, um, the Pyrotech stone rods that go into these stone cogs. These things, as far as I can tell, I can't think of any way to automate them because... They're only produced, like, on the anvils, and the anvils don't even accept hoppers. The only thing I've thought of that might work are the open computer's robots. So, yeah, cogs are the only ones that I've found that are not fully automatable, and they are maybe... I imagine they aren't on your list of essential goods, because... 
they're really only essentially used for producing artisan tables when you get to the end game. Yeah, there's a nice pile of gravel. And from what I can tell, I'm considered somewhat of a psychotic for uh, wanting to automate cogs anyway. Just because I like building individual artisan tables for everything. No one understands my art. But I can tell you, they appreciate the Twisty Cog Dancer. Yep, yep. Which is why I say that's the only one I thought of that can potentially automate it, because I figure if anything could do it, they can. All right. Hmm. Can I... Let's just kind of... Fix the, uh... Flow problems and... Make sure that we don't leave behind any... Nasty monster caves. And I've seen red dots on the map under here. Have I got a spot all spot somewhere in here? Not seeing one if there is. But yeah, this area is a bit of a mess right now. Might want to roof this over just to make it neater sooner or later when I can be bothered. Oh? Well. Are we talking like uh, ME system late game or are we talking like... Um... Are we talking like the final chapter of the Stormlands need an infinity ingot to do it late game? Yeah, let's throw that out. Let's throw that out. Let's keep the diorite though. Oh, right. It's a good thing I had just enough armor to survive that. <laughs> oh boy. We have fun on this channel. We have fun and get very severely injured. The forbidden romance between myself and these power cables, I tell you. Makes Romeo and... Oh right, that's blocked off now. Makes Romeo and Juliet look like amateur hour. Which, honestly, Romeo and Juliet isn't really that good of a romance anyway. It's very unhealthy when you think about it. I don't know why everyone thinks it's a great romance. It's literally two teenagers being as stupid as physically possible at each other. Where was I keeping these pebbles? Yeah! Did you not know about the Faraday suit? Or is it just that... You had the same problem I have, where eventually you start getting hypothermia, and you think, I can take it off for just a minute and keep on working. And then you get yourself. I'm surprised that Riley didn't know about the Faraday suit. He supposedly has 80 deaths to wires, from what he's told me. I thought, oh, right, it's this. It's this pattern, of course. And then this is what does that. Right, right, right. Yeah, let's just make a ton of flint clay. Why not? 
Get in there, hammer. I'm on to your tricks. All right, and then I was making the... I was making the melter, yes. I'm also gonna need to melt some dirt, uh, which is not in the iron blocks, it's in here, yes. I think I just need eight. Did I just need eight? No, I need 12. Good thing I checked. Uh, yep, yeah, we, uh, we have that happening in this one over at our at our new excavator. It's just that the millionaire villagers are immune to it. They just bounce off of it. They don't take any damage. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, let's turn this off for just a moment. No, we might as well do it on the Master Caster. Might as well. We'll just do it manually. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And deuces. Cool. And then you get back to work. All right, so we have mud brick, we have seared heater, we have flint clay, I think we have smelter. All right, we need bricks and we need seared tank, of course. Of course we need seared tank. I still have some glass in here. Goody. I have an excessive amount of glass in here, I'm gonna need at least two tanks. Uh, yeah, I have bricks on me, cool. So then I just need... Circle round twice. And then we do... This. And then we do... Remember that we also need the bricks. Which, my god, look, we have some bricks ready. What a wonderful world. All right, and da, 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 there. Seared brick. And there we go, smeltery controller. I need more bricks than this for the additional parts. So, turn you off. Turn you back on. Celebrate the fact that God is angry at us for our transgressions. Celebrate our 200 buckets of creosote. This, this one little creosote engine, I tells you. It is, uh, it is producing. It is, it is the, uh, it's the creosote of an equivalent of Genghis Khan at this point. So many children. Indeed. Indeed. Then again, we have absolutely clear skies right now, too. That's eerie. We were just kind of getting blue sky lightning. Intimidating. So, we are going to need, I think, at least two drains. Yeah, one of them to serve as just a thing that the gate reads. And then I'm going to need slightly more casting table than that. I usually like to run at least six casting tables. That's about as much as a single pulser can carry effectively. And now I can turn it off bricks. Wow. 
that was lucky. Turn that back on. And let's see here. Uh, no, I don't need taps because I'm going to be running it on a pipe. I think that should be all the technical blocks I need for the smeltery. Now I just need tons of seared brick in order to build her up. Which, wonder of wonder, miracle of miracles, we have at least a stack. We might as well make it pretty. All right, and I think that should be enough for us to go and start building. Is there a weather deflector hidden somewhere in the village? Because I don't think I've ever seen a tornado go into the village proper. I always see it kind of like suspiciously curving away from the walls. It's very cleverly hidden if there is one in here. I've never found it. And I think at one point... No, I didn't deconstruct a village. I just watched Riley doing it very closely when he did it. I don't know if he deconstructed the fort. I suppose that would be a sensible place to store it. All right, so what's our chunk looking like? What's our space? Well, we've got a reasonable amount of space to play with. All right, so scaffolding, fencing, hoppers, redstone... Everything you could need. Yep, that's a hopper. Or a crusher. So, then, stop. Uh, which way? I want the output facing that way, and that is where the output go, right? Right. So, we want it positioned like this. And, uh, yeah, I'm seeing no reason not to just have it Eh. Yeah, let's cram it as close as we can. Reasonably. So then it's like... It's like a C shape up there. Neat. That's a neat little scavenger for hunt for anyone who feels like deconstructing the village, I suppose. And then it's one more layer, right? Yeah, it's a thick C. A G, almost. And... Then it's just one in the center, three in there. And one way downtown, right? Right. Redstone block is on the right side. And then I think it's literally just the circle of fencing and the circle of hoppers. Heaven bless the crusher for being so simple and so cheap to run. I think the crusher might be my favorite of the immersive engineering machines. Because it's a cheat date. And that's important. Huzzah! All right, now let's enlighten the area. Make sure that no gribblies will nibble on our giblies. And... I... Ah, we're in a different chunk than when we started. Okay, so we need to load this one too. Good to know. Yeah, I think this whole construction is worth taking up two chunks, though. So. Eh, let's just be cheap and hop it over the pipe. Just run her on down. I suppose if I wanted to get it up higher faster, I could put it on the side of these uh, of these silos, like so. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay.
then I guess just no. Yeah, let's let's build a little floating platform for it. I should have some building blocks somewhere in my bag. Yep. One more. Oops. I think the crusher's holding on to it. Oh well, it'll drain out. And there we go. And down we go. And then remember that I need myself a connector. And down it go. Cool. So now I should have it so that when I... Yeah, I think I'll just use build craft pipes for these. When I extract from these, let's just put a chest on here and immediately give that a redstone control. Oh, right, I remember. I need a dot of redstone for this because uh, it doesn't like... It doesn't like um, receiving a redstone signal directly off the gate. So need to remember that. But let's just run pipe wire and we're just gonna need two of any old gate. Run it on down and then gate on here saying when contains less than 75% emit blue. And right, it needs to be one higher because then it would be blocking the redstone. Or yeah, just right there would work. Then gate on there saying when blue is off, activate redstone signal. And then it's just gonna need a dot of redstone right there. And that will create a self-limiting mechanism for the crusher. So it turns off before it overloads the chest. One thing I really love about this pack, Austin, you're making me play with build craft deeply. I don't think I've ever seen a, path, a pack that forced me to use build craft gates like JBTA has. And I've actually grown a bit of a liking for them. They are, they're the good kind of jank where like there's usually a way to get them to work, but it's kind of esoteric and hermetic. And you feel like you feel like a super elite Russian hacker for figuring it out, you know. So, uh, thank you for that. You turned me on to build craft gates, and you have created a monster from it. You can feel proud and horrified, probably more horrified, but proud is still there. Okay, redstone on there, cool. And we can give that a test. We can just uh, draw a pipe out. Yeah, let's just run it on over. No, I think I can just into that one. Does that insert? I don't think that inserts. I think it has to be on the top side proper to insert, doesn't it? Let's be safe. If it's unnecessary, then it's just aesthetics. That's always the excuse. All right, and then we can just put a pulsar on it. And I think this will just be... Yeah, I think this will just be an always on pulsar. No, it shouldn't be an always-on pulsar. It should not. 
But uh, why are you not receiving power? You are connected all the way over here. Ain't ya? Oh, that got disconnected. But why is the why is that still on? Bizarre. Well, regardless, regardless. Cool. So that's, yeah, we can take that gravel out of there. And I don't really have anything to jam it up right now. But we can at least put this down on 75%. Or even better, we can just put it on... Um, we can put it on items in inventory. Or rather, um, inventory empty. Yeah. And that turns that redstone on. And then if we pulse a few more items into it. We can see that it is indeed turned off. And if we turn it back to... If we turn it back to 75%, it turns back on. Cool. So the limiter is working. That is a rule. No matter how many times I build something, I always try and test it. Because heaven knows I can build it wrong. Cow. You are a... Uh, not in an auspicious position. Please reconsider your life choices. <laughs> well, I tried to warn the cow, but it didn't listen. And what does it get for it? It gets pain. That's just instant karma. Doesn't it feel good? All right, and then, yeah, I think I can just run this. We might as well make it so that it only loads up when it needs to for no particular reason other than just because for the practice. So we run the blue pipe up there. And we run the blue pipe on over. And from there, I should be able to run it onto both of these individual systems. Cool. I am going to need more pipe wire than this. I always need more pipe wire than this. I should know for a fact that I just should just pick up pipe wire before I build anything of size. It's unfortunate that the electrified cow didn't turn into steak instead of beef. Oh well. Also, I can put all this away. Oh right. Relays. There we go. Oh yes, and building blocks. Cool. Now inventory is clean. Ish. Mm. All right, put scaffolding away, put fencing away, put gravel away, and uh, what did I need? I needed pipe wire. I am out of blue pipe wire. Easy enough to fix. Let's just make a make a whole bunch. I shouldn't need any more lapis for a while. And if I do, hopefully I'll run into a merchant. Ah, turn that off. Yes. Only pipe wire, please. What am I doing on my white pipe wire? I'm doing okay, but let's restock anyway, just on general principle.
Hmm. Maybe it is time to make a row of engines using my surplus of dense fuel. My ridiculous overabundance. The horrific, almost obscene storage of dense fuel that I have accumulated over the long time that this has been running. Maybe. I mean, it runs so well just off of the light mixed fuels though. The lasers are fast enough for most of my purposes. I guess the worry is that because the two systems are interdependent upon each other, eventually I'll burn all the light fuel and there won't be, like, it won't be able to create anymore because the dense fuel will be completely full. I suppose that when that day comes, that is the day I will make that system. Okay, and you have just yourself some... Have yourself some gates. You earned it. And you say wind blue signal. Apply power pulse. And you get a gate. Once I manage to jank the cable on down there. Where are you disconnected? I don't think you're disconnected. Bizarre. Can I get up there any which way? Nah, not looking like it. Alright, down the jank. And on to the crank. And give it a yank. And we're good to go. And I am once more going to need more blue cable for the smeltery. I should have just waited longer. But this was an opportunity to just let it happen, I suppose. Just let that system build up all of our stuff. Yes, our beautiful golden green lasers. That really is a wonderful color combination, though. And joy of joys, it's time to get more tripe. Yes, it tripe doesn't just go out of my mouth, it also goes in. Really, it probably explains a lot about how I behave. Alrighty then. And... Yeah, look at this poor sod. He's just stuck in there. His own stupidity won't let him escape this... This horrible trap. This is just his life now. What have I wrought? What hell? Oh, oh, he has a friend now. Maybe they'll get married. Over their mutual love of licking this power cable over and over again. Yep, that's a filling up. Alright, so. What kind of space do I have to work with here? I have a decent amount of space to work with here. Excellent. That's always wonderful news. Let's just get rid of this. And... We're going to need controller. We're going to need at least one of the drains. We're going to need sear tank. We're going to need... Yeah, we might as well just take everything out. Come on. Come on, man. 
And let's just put the bricks away. Because they're the only bit that would at all hinder us. So let's give that just a couple of spaces in case I need to construct logic. Hmm. Yeah, two will have to do, I think. Cool. And yeah, let's build it into the ground. How wide do I want this thing? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, it's just short of uh, being able to. Well, that'll do. You know, it's kind of uneven, but it'll do. It doesn't particularly matter. It's in my bag, right? Bricks in bag. Alrighty then. And uh, we can just put the seared tank on the side here. We're going to want one drain over there and one drain that we'll use as our actual output. And that should construct. Indeed it do. And we are out of brick already. Oh. Just out of brick that I took out because... Right. Nice kind of little oblong shaped smeltery. Bit of an unusual shape, but we all need an unusually shaped smeltery in our lives every once in a while. Keeps things fresh. Okay, and that's 3, 6, 10, 14. I'm one short of another layer. Don't you just hate when that happens? Alrighty then. More torch. If I put one down on the ground over there, will that shine through the... It do! Neat. Cool. All right, and then let's... Ah, that drain needs to be the way... Well, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be, but I'd like it to be. Just for the sake of my sanity. Dwindling and rare as it is. Okay, so... I can put my extractor there. I can put my pipe there and I think I should be able to then put a single AND gate on there along with a bit of blue wire and that should be able to read both the no it can't read the tank okay ah. so that means that we just need to have ourselves oof apologies shifting positions we just need to have ourselves like a structural pipe of length two running like this, I think. No, just one should do, in fact. Yeah, but that would mean I'd need to move the gate off of there. So, gate over there. And it's not going to have a pulser. What am I thinking? So, like that. Then another gate, and it can be any old gate on if I can it doesn't need to be facing this way so that is going to say on tank contains less than 55% or 50% emit blue and you are going to say on blue and on contains less than 50% emit white There we go. And then we just run that down. 
and you simply say have a pulsar and have any old gate. And you simply say while white signal pulse the pipe. So now we should see that it fills the ore up to 50% full. And that's the only one we can test right now. I need to go and get some lava for it. Before I do that, I should uh, I should build, I forgot chimneys. No, I didn't, I have chimneys on me. I keep chimneys on me. But I don't have a bucket of lava on me. Still, I think that position should work. Let's just put a pile of wool on there and go run and grab a bucket of lava real quick. If I just put these bricks in my bag so I can run. And we can turn off chunks now. I'll only need them when I'm laying out the final, uh, final casting table. Speaking of, do I need more hoppers? Yes, I do. Good thing we just made some tool rods and some glue and some wood. We have everything we need if I can remember where it actually is. All right, and we need some chests. Which of those I'm gonna need to make some more of. So make myself some whoppers. Beauteous. I swear, man, wooden hoppers are the truth, the light, and the way. They are love. They are life. They make so many things possible, and they are so relatively reasonably priced compared to everything else. That's that's probably too many qualifiers, but come on, man. This is JBTA. All right, so I need to... No, wait. Yeah, Whopper. No, that's going to be chess. Right, right, right. Uh, okay, cool. So then I can take that. And I'm also going to need to take some additional wood. And just ring it around that rosy. And give it some water. And that should make 15 chests. And that'll restock us for a little while. Right. Need a lot more wood than that. Like, I need, like, a stack and a half. Hmm. <sighs> Stretch. Okay. Mm. Right, bucket of lava. That's what I'm after. Can I have a... Yeah, they're cool. Just in order to get it smelting up some. Just to test the limiter. As well as to test the pollution. We want to make sure that it is emitting safely. in that it is not emitting at all, really. Okay, so tank is over there. Cool, cool beans, cool. All right, so I'm gonna need seven hoppers, just a chest for now. But eventually, oh, eventually, we are 
biodiesel is the next project and with biodiesel is going to come a minor mild project of uh taking the wool that'll come out of that as a byproduct and running it down to all the pollution filters yeah all the way down here it's insane but it's how we're gonna do so let's just wait for that to fill up to 50 percent. i can limit that a bit more just in order to uh I can say, um, I can say if tank empty emit blue. Yeah, that'll be. And so now it should stop. Yeah, it stopped. It's not emitting white signal despite it emptying out its inventory. Cool. And the final, this one does need to be destruction test because I need to make sure that um, once it reaches 50%, that the next load of copper in there won't overload the liquid because... The, the reason that I limit it both on liquids and on solids is because if a smelter is full up on liquid and still has solids in there, I find it seems to still produce pollution. So it'll just be sitting here with a full tank of ore emitting pollution for heaven knows how long. And uh, me no likey. Me no wanty. So me make system more saney. It almost looks like this thing allows the pulsar to operate constantly. No, not quite. Not quite. It's close, though. If I built it a little bit taller, this thing would be running constantly. Maybe if I had that one more layer. If I had that one more brick. Oh, the regret. Oh, the tragedy. Okay, but yeah, look at that. It shut off right there. And it's going to come nowhere even close to being full. So, our limiter system works perfectly. Excellent. So next, where am I going to run my casting? I'm going to run my casting probably over here. So let's just put a drain on it. And I don't have a fluid out. I need to make more fluid pipe anyway. Okay, down we go. Once more. Wait, is that a pump jack? That is a pump jack. What was that pumping? That was the last of the copper pump jacks. Right. Cool. All right. And yeah, at this point, I'm going to need to make a ton of gold cable. Liquid and fluid, because we're going to need to run lava down there. We're going to need to run items back. This is going to be a bit of a project. This is unfortunately going to be what you might call a bit of a task. But I think we have enough supplies to do it. I think that gold also needs to be automated in the near future just because we're almost out of gold, gold uh, blocks. But biodiesel has been put off long enough. Biodiesel is next. I'm probably going to need more than a stack of fluid pipe. I'm almost definitely going to need more than a stack of fluid pipe. Also need a little bit of extractor pipe. Getting close to time to make some more extractor pipe. Might as well do that now before I forget. Let's just get eight of those. Get eight of those. And make a stack of these. Other way around. I never get it right on the first try. 
it's it's like USBs, you know? How you can how you have to rotate them twice before you find the correct position. Yeah. It's like that. Okay, wood diamond fluid pipe. Which I already had. Oh well. Alright. So I have a stack of fluid pipe, which I'm I need to run the blood. We No, we we aren't going to run the bloodline just yet. Fox, when you watch this, stop humming the red line theme. I can hear you. I can hear you in my soul. That pun was amazing, but stop it. Stop it. Get some help. But yes, I do need to pour out yet more blood. Blood gods may or may not be involved. Maybe I should just use, maybe I should just use, i.e. fluid pipes to run the lava down. It would be cheaper. Ah, uh, then again. I'm already running oil down an i.e. fluid pipe. I'm considering running blood down an i.e. fluid pipe. Eventually I'm just going to lose track of which pipe is which. There isn't really a good way of marking them with i.e. pipes. And the lava pipe is kind of the most important of them. It's good to know which one it is, because it's the one that's going to be split off the most. So yeah, I guess it should be a, a Buildcraft fluid pipe. And I mean, it's just gold, glass, and blood. And two of those are resources that we have effectively infinite amounts of now. So it's fine. It's fine. I will keep telling myself that it's fine. And maybe one day I will believe it. In the meantime, let's take what is assuredly not enough. And uh, let's see how far we can run with it. So, where is our split off most reasonably done? I guess that running it down this way would do. Yeah, just jank it through here. Because that passageway is already going down a fair ways. Oh no, does it? No, it doesn't go down far enough west. So yeah, we need to jank it through here. I should have janked it onto the right side, though. Because now I'm going to have to get it under the item pipe yet again. Instant regret. Instant, I tells ya. Ah, shoot. This is a bad place. Yeah, this is a dead end. Shoot, I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that one coming. Well, we'll just... Put some lights down, and uh, we'll pretend that this is just an intentional design feature. It's modern art. You can make just about anything and call it modern art. I'm fairly certain modern art is a uh, is a money laundering scheme. I'm pretty certain everyone knows it's a money laundering scheme, but they think that's just part of the art. Because the art can be whatever they demand it to be. It's one hell of a scheme. 
Okay, so jank it that way, up, over, and out. And yep, that is where we will begin the run. And we will just take it on down. All the way downtown. We might as well start running the item logistics pipe over here too. So, join is there, and it has to go towards the north. So, iron pipe there. Give it runch. It does not need runch, or any other dressing for that matter. And continue running pipe on down. Yeah, see, if I was running this as uh, IE pipe... I would confuse these two pipelines immediately and irrevocably. I'd probably like try and split the lava line and grab like oil or something. And then it would be a terrible disaster. I'd have to dig up tons of pipe. Tears would be flowing, rage would be happening, cats and dogs would be living together. Total chaos. Oh, especially here. This would be a system that would just never work. Wait, do these pipes connect? They do. I don't want you to. I mean, they don't pour into each other, but still, I don't like that. At least, I don't think they pour into each other. It could be that the... Could be that the uh, crude oil is empty. I don't think it is. I think I saw it pumping just a minute ago. But now I'm paranoid that I'm out of oil. And I'm probably going to have to sate my demons by going and checking on it shortly. Our utilidors are starting to look like properly janky, too. I love it. But yeah, I definitely need more fluid pipe. I need more pipe. Period. Okay, crude oil is still full. Pump jack is still pumping. We're still in business. Cool. Sweet. Excellent. Wonderful. Stellar. Adjective. All right. So more floop pipe. More gold. Just 
to make more galled pipe. And that is just going to have to do us because I think that's the last of it until I go a raiding on another ship, which would be one way to how and why. Why do you exist? Where did he come from? That's the second time we've had an encounter in this area, so it must be close by. It's not in the Utilidor. That's terrifying that we have a spawn happening somewhere because that is close enough to the base that if an Enderman spawns in that spot, they are going to come after us. And with me not wearing, like super good armor, that's pretty much a guaranteed one-shot. Heck, even if it doesn't one-shot me, the durability on the, uh, on the foil suit is getting so low that it might just break one of those and, you know, then I get zappy zappy death. Either zappy zappy or touchy touchy. Either way. Either way, the horrible death comes for us. Don't mind me rambling. This is work that if a, this is work that back in regrowth I would be cutting over. I would just shut up, turn on a podcast and be doing this and then like cut back in when uh when I'm done, you know. So I'm thinking of stuff to fill the air while I'm doing this. I think this is rock hounding these minerals. Um, what can I throw out? I think that's just tin, isn't it? Yeah, it's just some seared bricks. We can throw that out. Throw out a little bit of lead. Throw out that dirt, of course. We're almost there. But yeah, hopefully this will be the longest pipeline. Because this is horrific. We're running low. Don't know if we can make it. Might need to go and grab some gold. What the heck did I load up on that's weighing me down? You know what, I can, I can resolve this problem the smart way. I can just uh, put stuff that I know weighs a ton over in my storage. And that'll resolve things nicely. There we go. I, I suppose even if I'm out, it's just a matter of going and converting more of these logistics pipes into uh, fluid pipes. So all is not lost. But 
Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that. Yeah, definitely going to have to do that. So this is just a... Uh, let's mark this as our destination. Let's also kind of poke it a few holes down just so that when we run across it, we know. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. Well, nothing to do but to go it. Nothing to it but to do it. And Hamar. You know what, let's just... No, I need to dig it down to the floor level. I also need torches. Am I out of torches? No. I just have them in my bag. But I am critically low. Up the tunnel we go. Remember, kids, digging a tunnel is boring. Literally. Okay, sweetness. So. We are going to need to empty out our inventory once more. We are going to need more fluid pipe. Like, maybe convert those 36 and keep the stack of transport pipe. And that should have us covered. up into the base we go. And what do you know? I have pretty much exactly enough slime. Not quite exactly exactly, but close enough. Okay. Let's finish this off. That's running a bit janked because probably because both the pump jacks are running. I really need to get the bio diesel running and get more than one uh, get more than one engine going. All right. End is in sight. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Feels like I just completed a transcontinental railroad. Only it's pipes. 
this is probably a task that the railroads are literally built for, but I don't like that the rail cars cause pollution. I'm sorry. I know it's less of a problem when they're like going around in circles and lines and all that, but I'd like to reduce my pollution as far as possible. And just having them spewing it out in places that can't be controlled. No, I'm sorry. That is a no. At least to me. All right. All right. So did I just throw out those pipes? One more trip back. One more trip back. I think we even have just literally a couple of... Uh, pieces of of um, pipe sealant still in the system. I wonder how much just running down and pressurizing this fluid pipe is draining out the lava machine tank. I should build more proper access ways, not just run on whatever the hell I'm doing there. Oof, it drained it a good deal. It did indeed suck down a little bit of that straw. Okay, so we need to turn this into that because of my own idiocy. And now we should have everything we need. We can just turn off that stupid intermediary waypoint. Ah, uh, hundreds of ore, 10 stacks of azurite, and like four and a half stacks of malachite. That translates to a lot of ore. So, how is our space looking? Yeah, we can go out another space just for the sake of aesthetics. And we can then put these, like right here. Not, not like that. Not like that. Sure, all the way back to the edge of the chunk. If it will cooperate. I forgot to get casts. I forgot to make ingot casts. Oh, today is a day of fantastic derp. Is it not a glorious day of derp? Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful derp. Oh, we have been so blessed. Yeah, I'm a little angry at myself for having to make so many trips back and forth. But let's put a gate on here, pulsar on here. No, it doesn't need a gate. This one doesn't need a gate. It'll be the uh, final output that needs a gate. Yeah. All right, so. Central-ish one. You go straight down into an chest that we will just uh, suck items from eventually. And everyone else just point towards you. Oh, no, wait, I don't need to make casts. I can take it off the old pump jack. The defunct pump jack. Yes. Almost like I planned it. But you, you, you know that 
you, you know the terrible truth. It'll be a secret just between you and me. Did I really only have one ingot cast up there? No, they're just loaded up with like a couple millibuckets. Why are you... Shoot. That's going straight down into the storage system. So that is probably going to then eject out the end of the diamond pipeline. Should be here by now. Yep, yeah, therapy. All right, there we go. Six ingot casts. Yeah, I need to deconstruct that pump jack. There's a couple of parts that I can reuse elsewhere. Not sure if there's any other liquid metals I'd like to go for. I think that once I get the biodiesel system up, then I'll want to start transitioning to running everything off of excavators again. Well, transition to running things off of excavators once and for all, you know. Beautiful, wonderful, tasty copper. Now down into the depths we go once more time. And we just need to connect that up. Now it should be like a space or two behind the liquid pipe, right? Yeah, there it be. So just jank that on over. Connector up. Need extraction pipe. Now, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm exhausted. It's time to end this episode, but eventually I'm going to run down a redstone cable. I'm, I'm probably going to do it between episodes. I'm going to run down redstone wire coil and make a proper limiter control for, uh, for when we have, um, shoot, for when we have comparators, which will be soon. Will be soon. Let's see here. Next up is biodiesel, because we put it off for too long. Then I might make... Depending on time, I might make it the same episode. I might make an episode after that. But yeah, I'm going to need to make that centrifuge for the clay sooner or later. That won't take but a moment. That's a quick project. Um, but I'll put that on priority after biodiesel. In the meantime, I will just say always on pulse. We'll transition you to a redstone signal later. Beauteous. Let's follow you home. But yes, after after biodiesel, we will make the centrifuge. Then after that, I want to Yeah, then after after biodiesel, after centrifuge, I'm going to make my next um I'm going to make another diesel engine so that I can start expanding the power network. And then I'm going to make an excavator on to, um, on to coal. And that will be the last ingredient we need because we will have infinite sand. We will have infinite coal, effectively infinite. That will be the last ingredient we need to start producing silicon. The cheap and crappy way that we can produce silicon right now. And with just a little bit of silicon, I'll be able to start making the plates that will allow me to make the comparators to properly control all these systems over here. That'll also mean that I can make an automatic steel smeltery and that will allow us, um, well, let's see, once I have automatic steel and once I have a source of tin to make automated bronze, then we'll have all the ingredients to complete the automation of the, uh, 
what's that guy doing over in the northwest there? Like, what's, what is, who is you? Let's kind of take a look. I imagine it's a it's a dry spot on the ocean bed or something. Yeah, it must be. There it is. Well, let's just fix that real quick. Yeah, there's probably... I'm probably going to have to deconstruct those ships and all that other stuff. Take out every spawnable space of monster because we're, we're encroaching upon their territory now. We might have Enderman assassinations to worry about. But yes, yes, yes. So, between episodes, I'll run Red Cable down there just in order to have the control system in place. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to do because now we have automated copper we pretty much have the system as complete as it's going to get for a little while. Yep. Now we have... Now we have these systems booting back up. Eventually, we should start seeing this refilling too. It's all being sucked out into the gear machine right now. But once that's full up, then this will start running and we will have just our um, we will have our engineering blocks all on auto craft up to heavy and unfortunately heavy is what i need for the uh, heavy is what i need for the garden cloches but but it's easy enough to just jank in the resource that it needs until that point i am rambling because i am exhausted i apologize I should probably take that as an opportunity to say thank you for stopping by, everyone. Austin Supercar. Awesome to see you here, Austin. I was never expecting to see you on stream. Thank you, thank you for gracing this humble little channel with your presence. That was, uh, that made my night. Thank you so much. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, the first gentleman who stopped by who was just exploring the channel. Dude, uh, if, if you if you watch the VOD of this, when it comes out in like a week or so, a week and a half I think is my buffer right now. Yeah, when, th when this becomes public again and you come back and watch the VOD, uh, thank you for stopping by, dude. I hope, that, uh, I hope that you explore the channel some more and you find some stuff you like. And of course, everyone else watching. Have yourself... A beautiful day. Have yourself a wonderful evening. And with our inventory finally sorted, good night, everybody.